Hi, my name's Henry Crew. Um, I've just arrived back at the bike shed after 381 days on my Scrambler Ducati, and I've just broken the world record for the youngest person to circumnavigate the world on a motorcycle. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's just take a moment to congratulate this young man, Henry Crew, who at 23 years old has just graduated. <laughs> So I left London back in April 2018, rode across Europe through Russia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Iran, Pakistan, all of Asia, Southeast Asia, across Australia, up from South America to North America, bounced around in America for a little while and then uh, shipped out to Lisbon. Rode through Europe and uh, I had a bunch of guys join me today which was really great for my, my last few miles in a 50,000 plus mile adventure. Some of the highlights so far, I've ridden the highest roads in the world in the Himalayas. Riding on beaches in Australia was really great. Um, just meeting all of the motorcycle community as well. I've stayed with a lot of people from Instagram and that's been a, a, a constant thing throughout the trip. Yeah, it's been an amazing trip. It feels weird to be back, but I'm excited about uh, what comes next. So I've been through about eight or nine sets of tires on the trip. I've changed it up a little bit from road tires at some points, fully off-road tires at others. Um, but normally I've been using the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs, which are a really nice balance of sticky on-road, good in the wet road tire but also handle gravel and dirt pretty well it's only when you get up to deeper sand and mud that um, i've kind of wanted the non-str version uh, but yeah quite a lot of tires a lot of people ask me why i didn't do this on a big 1200 gs or something um, mainly it's just not really my style i wanted to do do it on something a bit different um, but also something lighter uh, I don't really need a 1200cc engine, this will handle highway speeds with no problems but I can also pick it up on my own and thrash it off-road and it's a, it's a good balanced motorbike. It's a nice uh, middle point between a road bike and an off-road bike as well. It's taken a whole lot of abuse and just started first time every day but also it's great fun to fang it around the corners. So it's kind of ticked all the boxes for me. I don't really think that you have to have a GS just because Charlie and Ewan did a round the world trip on it 15 years ago. And when you put it into comparison, their trip was four months and I think about 17,000 miles. This bike's done 12 and a half months and I think the clock's on 84,000 kilometers at the moment. So about three or four times bigger than that GS did. And uh, yeah, it's still swinging. I think. It's a weird one because people know Ducati and they know it as red sports bike. So when I rock up, they're like, oh, what's this? And Ducati, what Ducati model is this? And uh, they're normally really intrigued and really excited by it. It's, it's not your typical Ducati, I guess, but it does get a lot of attention and a lot of attention from different um, markets as well. I think there's only one real point where I've thought maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Um, and. I, that was when I went to Chile from Australia. It was just such a contrast from the easy, fun time I was having in Australia and then suddenly everything was difficult again. Um, and not having my bike for the first time was a big issue. As soon as I got back on the bike, I was fine. But that couple of weeks was really hard. Other than that, you're kind of forced. You don't have that luxury, basically. You can't just jump on a plane and f off back home. I can't, can I swear on it? Because you're in the middle of nowhere and you're probably a week's ride from the nearest big airport. Um, if there's even one in the country that you're in. So that's good motivation. If you want to get out of the situation that you're in, um, get out of the bad weather, get out of the corrupt police or the, the rough terrain, whatever it is, you have to swing your leg over the bike and just keep heading east. Um, so yeah, that's been my last year.